Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie, and since we've learned one of the first three Star Wars spin-off movies is going to be Boba Fett, I wanted to talk about what that movie might look like. It's not going to be the first spin-off they make, so it will be a while before we see it though. But it's totally possible that the bones of this dead Star Wars video game could kind of provide the framework for what the movie looks like. It's called Star Wars 1313. So this video is going to be a breakdown of that video game and why I think that it would make a great starting point for the Boba Fett movie. I'm also going to do a production update on all the other spinoffs too because we've actually learned some new things. If you're finding me for the first time, I'm going to be doing Star Wars bonus videos every week. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Normally I try to post them on Tuesdays. I've been out of town a little bit so that's why you're seeing this video today. So, production update on the spinoffs first. Gareth Edwards, who directed Godzilla, was just hired to direct the first spinoff movie. They didn't announce the title, but it is dated for December 16th, 2016. Right now, the rumored sequels are Han Solo, Boba Fett, and Red 5, as in an X-Wing Rebel story. I think that first spinoff movie is actually going to be Red 5 because the biggest names, you know, inside the Star Wars offices are working on the biggest movies and obviously Boba Fett and Han Solo are much, much bigger than an X-Wing movie. That's Lawrence Kasdan and Simon Kinberg. They're probably working on the bigger spinoffs and it seems only natural that they would give the easier story to do to the newer director. That's just my opinion though. So we can talk more about those other spinoffs in the future, but now let's talk about Boba Fett. For a long time, I always thought he was the coolest Star Wars character. Darth Vader was always the face of the franchise, but in the 90s, before all the big prequel and Disney stuff happened, it always felt like the most hardcore Star Wars fans were always more interested in talking about Boba Fett. He was just way more mysterious. Funny, because everything we know now about him comes from the expanded universe and the prequel, so don't be surprised if Disney changes a bunch of that stuff. We can talk about that in a sec, but I think there's a really good chance they could use that Star Wars 1313 game that died as inspiration for the look and the tone of the movie, you know, from a visual standpoint. It's like a dark noir crime drama set on Coruscant. So in case you never heard about the game, LucasArts, the video game arm of Lucasfilm, showed off footage during E3 2012. It featured an unnamed bounty hunter running through the streets of Coruscant trying to chase down a bounty. What made the game different was is that it did not feature Jedi powers. It was more like Battlefront and you had to use technology and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Later, it was revealed that the narrative of the game was going to tell the story of Boba Fett's early years as a bounty hunter. Cut from thunderous applause to dead silence. LucasArts was scrapped. The company was folded whenever Disney bought them out and the game was completely shelved. Disney has announced no plans to resurrect the game itself. But from a visual standpoint, it's perfect for this Boba Fett spin-off movie. It addresses a lot of the issues fans had with the prequels looking so bright and shiny. I always felt like the environments in the prequels felt way too clean to be threatening. You know, like you want to feel like you could get hepatitis just from touching the console. I always loved that steampunky look of the original trilogy, and this game took most of its inspiration from that. So cut to episode 7 and J.J. Abrams, there is some new evidence that they're actually kind of going back to that original look from the original trilogy. If you saw the video that J.J. Abrams posted about winning a chance to cameo in Star Wars 7, you could see a real life puppet creature right next to him. That film is also shooting on film stock, not digital like all the prequels, so it seems like these new Star Wars films, including the spin-offs, are going to look a lot more like the original trilogy. So the 1313 Boba Fett game totally fits within that ideology. So it's not all totally perfect though. If you look at the concept art for the game, I do see a couple issues. First, these are going to be Disney movies, and even their darker stories have a certain Disney-fied look to them. Tangible and real, but very polished. This Boba Fett concept art is way darker and dirtier, so I don't think they're going to do exactly what you're seeing right here. And second, Disney made it a point to say that the writers were starting fresh whenever they came to the stories, so if they did use this Boba Fett game as inspiration, a lot of the story would be changed. I don't think that's totally a bad thing, but we have to remember concept art is exactly that, just a concept. One really cool thing about the game though is that Boba Fett was supposed to have a droid companion that was eventually going to double cross him, which feels totally appropriate for a Boba Fett story. It kind of reminded me of HK-47 from Knights of the Old Republic. In Kotor, HK was actually built by Revan to hunt down Jedi. And the Rebels cartoon that's premiering this fall is basically going to tell that story, the Empire's process of hunting down the last of the Jedi after the events of Return of the Jedi. I know a lot of you have been asking me about that TV show too, and yes, I will be doing weekly videos whenever it starts airing. They said fall, but I'm expecting October. There's going to be 16 episodes total, and it's going to air on Disney XD. As for the timing of the Star Wars movies, they've only announced the official release dates for Episode 7 and that first spinoff, 
but Hasbro did leak some information based on the toy lines and their release dates. So here's a breakdown of all that. First, there's the Rebels cartoon this fall in 2014. That's confirmed. Then there's Episode 7, December 18th, 2015. Also confirmed. Then we have that first Star Wars spinoff on December 16th, 2016. Confirmed. Unofficially, that's probably going to be the Red 5 movie. Then there's Episode 8 in 2017. Probably December release in keeping with their theme. Next is the second spinoff movie in 2018, which could either be Han Solo or Boba Fett. Then Episode 9 in 2019. And then lastly, the third spinoff in 2020. So take all those dates with the grain of salt. Movies get moved all the time, but generally what they're trying to do is release a Star Wars movie every year. But Episode 9 is so far off that that's probably going to get delayed at some point. They make so much money on them though, if they ever did run into big schedule problems, they probably would not hesitate to throw money at the issue just to get the movies out faster. So I hope you guys agree that this Star Wars 1313 game is great inspiration for the Boba Fett spin-off movie. Production hasn't started yet and it's still a long ways off so I'm not expecting to get any official news about the movie for a long time. Obviously I'm not expecting it to be that first spin-off movie either. But now it's your turn, let me know in the comments below, what do you think that the Boba Fett movie should look like? And do you think that they should just scrap all the prequel backstory and expanded universe stuff and start fresh? So my next Star Wars bonus video is probably going to be my top 10 characters I'd like to see in episode 7. Be sure to subscribe to get it. Now that my schedule is slowly getting back to normal, I should be able to post that next Tuesday. I'm also seeing Maleficent tonight, so you can actually click here to get my review for that. I'll add the annotation as soon as I post it. And you can click here to get my breakdown of the Star Wars episode 7 cast. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys tonight. High fives.